I have a special relationship with jigsaw puzzles. I'm very passionate about them. Well, it's more than a passion, actually. It's more of an addiction. To me, jigsaw puzzle symbolizes two things. The first one is character strength. Characters such as determination, self-discipline, perseverance, and per patience. The second thing is um, the uniqueness character of the puzzle. Now, for every box of jigsaw puzzles, whether there are thousands of pieces, two thousands or ten thousands, each piece is unique and each piece has its own place and position. And at this point, I'm sure you may be wondering what is the jigsaw puzzle story has to do with this whole conference thing. And well, it's only this uniqueness character of the puzzles. You know, it's the same with us. Each of us is unique. Each person has his own flaws, his own imperfections, and his own strength, which are mainly um, our talents, our character. And it's only from there, from being aware of them, that we are developing them intentionally. Today, this uniqueness is uh, threatened. Why? Why is that? Because everything around us, everything around us pushes us um, to deny it, pushes us to conform to the majority, as often said. Okay, we are afraid to stand out. We are afraid to be different. We are afraid to be bold. And we are afraid to take risks. We just want to live an average life, average performance with average results. To me, personally, I have a strong conviction that if we want to change that mindset, then we need to, to really go to the basis, the early childhood education. I'm a mother to a two years old toddler. And when I see him, I start to, to have all those kind of questions, such as how am I going to accompany him? How am I going to equip him in this journey of life so that he learns to develop his character strength? Characters such as tenacity, grit, but also compassion and generosity. How am I going to educate him so that he learns to discover his unique talents and learn to develop them intentionally? How am I going to help him make choices and decisions that are appropriate to him, adequate to his own strength and talents? How am I going to do that? Is there even a school with visions that accepts and promotes that uniqueness? Is there even schools that put the child at the center of the learning so that the child would fully appreciate not only the learning outcomes, but also the learning process? Because it's through that process that he is reinforcing and he is developing his strength and his talents. I'd like to quote, uh, an English philosopher of the 17th century, John Locke. And he said, let us run away from that harmful idea that every children need to be thrown in the same mold. Every child is a unique being. And the ultimate goal of the education is to take him with all his flaws, with all his imperfections, but also with all his possibilities and get the best out of him. Well, every child is unique. So let's stop. Let's just stop with this perpetual, um, with this perpetual persistence of conforming him to some ideal that we have in mind. And instead, let's give him the opportunity to discover himself, to discover his unique talents, to bring, to add value to his own person, to his family, to his nation, his enterprise, and this world. Let's just give him that, that chance so that he will become an adult who is responsible, independent, and happy. Thank you.